Hello once again gamers, CruzNickX back with more Final Fantasy XIV. Alongside me, Alex Swan. Heyo. CC Valentine. Hello. And Arya Stormborn. Hey y'all. Um, when we last left off, we had gone through the Swallow's Compass. Arya still can't stop laughing whenever she hears the name Swallow's Compass. I'm sorry. And we obtained the Tamate Bako of Geomancy. We are now back in Tamamizu, and I need a ride. God, uh, okay, fine. Give me a second. Uh, fi go find those goddamn Aether Currents. You can fly your damn self. So That's busy. what I need to attune to in order to fly. You will need to do that too when you get in the Heaven's Ward and Stormblood content. Hurry up! Ooh. Oh. Where do the people are? Oh, they're probably all in fucking. the Pegos and Nemos. Ooh, a shark! Don't you fucking dare. Is it a baby shark? I will fucking stab you! <laughs> you realize that was recorded, right? So if anything happens. That's not baby shark. Me. Look at it. Yeah, Wait, it's a That daddy could be a baby shark, shark in, in this world. Well, that, I suppose that could be a baby shark in this world. <sighs> Anyways. <laughs> Off to Hell's Lid. In the Race and Temple. You know, dude, we could do Subak stream. That'd be fun. Say what? Oh, four of us. What? Subaku extreme. Pretty long. Yeah, that's not happening until this freaking expansion is over. Anyway. You fucking suck. Let's kill. Come on, let me off. What the frick? There we go. Yeah, wouldn't even let me on Mount. Headed for the, headed for the temple, or just taking in the wonderful smoky air. I totally thought he was going to say ass and not air. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're back in... We're back in Resen Temple. Let's talk to Genbu. You are returned. And with the Tabate Bako of Geomancy, I gather. Here you go. Hope you choke on it. Mm. Good luck with the solo duty. Very good, very good. Of course, there was no need to fear for the well-being of the warrior who faced my brother Biako and lived. Let us brook no further delay and make ready for this next stage of Sorobon's training. Listen well, everyone, for the magics we are about to unleash are ancient and terrifying. It is exceedingly dangerous, especially for Sorobon. Uh, I wish you would stop saying that. Be at ease, Sorabon. Bianco will devote his energies to maintaining the wards on Koryu's prison while we are occupied. Should you be indisposed for a time, we will manage. And I've been secretly practicing my Arcanima in preparation for a time like this. So don't worry. No matter what happens, we'll be ready. After all, we've each got to do our part if we're going to claim the fabulous riches. I mean, if we're going to save the Ruby Sea from certain doom. Her enthusiasm notwithstanding, I expect we will need to return. We will need to turn to you should this training go awry. Take a moment to see to your equipment and let me know when you are ready to begin. Okay, 
considering we didn't get much in terms of that dungeon. I mean, did we get anything else? Slaying, slaying, eating, cast... Oh, we... No, wait, that's Ruby Tide. Sort. Yeah, nothing really to write home to Mama about. <sighs> what a drag. I fucking want you to do want everybody stuff for us. Alright, let's do this. Cece, I'm gonna have to leave the party, unfortunately. Oh, solo duty? Solo duty. Yep. Alright. Oh, damn, I should have drugged you into, uh... Alcohol. Is this the one with useless potato lady involved? Yes. Oh, have fun with that. Have fun with that. Here we go. Everything is in order? Then let us begin. Torban has his doubts. Now remember, Sorban. Once opened, the box will spew forth smoke. Remain still and let it wash over you. Surrender to the magic and let it transform you into an auspice. And you are certain this will be be temporary. As honored as I would be to join your ranks, I fear I am too young to be so old. Come, you lot. Let us retreat to a safer distance. Alright, here we go. Treasure or something interesting inside. Foolish urchin! Ah! Oh, was that really necessary? You couldn't just ask me to move nicely. What? What's that look for? Is there something on my face? Uh, how to tell you this? My face! My beautiful face! It feels like old gold leather left in the sun! Get a hold of yourself, child. You have been aged, nothing more. Be grateful you were not exposed longer, or you would have surely died. I not tell you before that the magic is fleeting? You need only endure it for a moment. All will be as it was. <sighs> Good to see you're back. Bah! So preoccupied with the urchin I have been, that I completely forgot about Sorabon! I hope he has not been overexposed to the magic! If he has been aged to excess, his Aramitama may already be!
What are you doing? Why are you going so <laughs> This is why we don't move with that one. Oh my god, it's so Well, that enters that. On your god! I'm afraid he means to kill us all! He bathed in the Tabate Bako's magic for far longer than the urchin, and so I expect he will not return to normal so quickly. In fact, I dare say he will retain this form long enough to destroy the temple if we do not subdue him. Alright, let's do it. Didn't we learn the lesson of opening magic boxes? SHAZAM! With me, tall urchin! Hold nothing back! Alright, let's do this! I should probably switch to my tanking. Other than me, maybe? He mosses his strength for a mighty blow. Get behind me! Oh dear. That was a bit more than I could handle. Forgive me. But the rest is up to you two. It would help if I wasn't being aggroed on. Even my freaking, even my freaking eggy is useless. Let's try that again. Now I remember why I hated this freaking fight. <laughs> it reminds you of the locks we won all over again, doesn't it? Oh my god, he won't even... He is like aggroing to me and only me. It pisses me off.
Fuck it, I'm switching to summon more. I'm switching to summon three. Fuck it. She had my fun. Shut it, you. Let me huh? So much fun. <laughs> Why are you following me, you stupid? King Lollafell! Because she wants his she wants his hugs. I was gonna say something, that's a little inappropriate. <laughs> Alright, Tataro, I love you, but you need to stop fucking running into the AoEs. You are as useless as a hernia. God fucking damn it! <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a day. Let's try again.
Get your intro elevated, Daddy. He <laughs> sink or swim. All right, nah. All right. When I first fought this, I didn't know what to do. Okay, Tataro, I love you, but stay out of the goddamn AoEs or else I'm going to pop you. I will punch you all the way out of Hell's Lid. loves running into those things, doesn't she? He's growing weaker! Don't let up! She's good at healing. She wasn't very good at healing me. <sighs> I mean, you gotta stay close to her, but at the same time, you also gotta dodge AoEs and... What happened? Why do you all look so exhausted? Oh my dear Sorobon, I knew you had potential, but it would seem I grossly underestimated your capacity for chaos. In any case, despite this unexpected turn of events, I should like to declare this training session a success. Let us take a moment to collect ourselves. Yes, let's please. I, uh... Let's go pass out now. <laughs> anyway, let's talk to Kenbu. Truth be told, this comes as a relief. Though Sorbonne's present strength pales in comparison to that of Biako and myself, we know for certain that his potential is extraordinary. 
I struggle to believe I could ever wield such power. All who are strong were once weak, Soroban. I am no exception. Until I meet, until I met Tenzin, I was no more than the floundering turtle you see before you. You never did tell us how you fell in with him. Ah, well, if you wish to know the details. Long, long ago, when I had lived a hundred or so years and had only just begun to become something more, I received my first vision. A terrible calamity. One that would claim the lives of countless innocents was imminent. But what was a little turtle to do? For a while, I had seen the future with crystal clarity. I for while I was, had seen the cri future, bleh, can I talk today? <laughs> For while I had seen the future with crystal clarity, I was powerless to stop it. I could but look on, helpless, as cities burned and men died. So it was for centuries, until one day. After five hundred years, I had grown stronger, more reckless. I believed I could make a difference. So when I foresaw a landslide that would bury a nearby village, I ventured forth to warn the people. Alas, while they were quick to discern I was no common animal, they could make no sense of my panicked flailings. To them, I was a queer dancing turtle, a source of considerable amusement, for I knew not the words of men, and so my warnings fell on deaf ears. It would be no different, yet again they would die. The people turned and walked away, bored with the fleeting amusement. With a hot fist to burst, with a hot fist, mm, <laughs> with a heart fit to burst with sorrow and despair, I made to quit the village. Just then, I heard a voice, kind and gentle. Little one, you look troubled. Tell me what burdens you so. Though I knew he was addressing me, I doubted he would understand. Still, I told him of my vision of the landslide I knew would bury the village and everyone in it, and my vain attempts to warn them. Your kindness is only surpassed by your bravery, little one. Fear not, I, Tenzen, and my comrade, Biako, shall act in your stead. As Tenzin drew his sword, a great white tiger emerged from the wilds. Shall we give them a show? He whispered to the beast, which inclined its massive head ever so slightly in response. They then ran into the center of the village and began to fight as if they were bitter enemies intent on killing one another. Blade and fang flashing, too fast for the eye to follow. So basically it was a Dragon Ball Z fight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the two broke apart for an instant and Tenzen bellowed, Hearken to me, this white demon thirsts for the blood of man. If you value your lies, flee this place. Seek shelter in the next village. Needless to say, the bewildered villagers gathered up whatever was at hand and ran screaming, too terrified to even look back. As the three of us watched them go, I heard the white demon mutter, You know full well I have not once tasted man flesh. The village was later destroyed in a landslide, as I had foreseen, but for the first time, I had managed to make a difference.
Thereafter, we became traveling companions and close friends. I shared with them my visions, and together we labored to save those that we could. On the eve of what may perhaps be the greatest calamity I have ever foreseen, I feel Tenzin's absence keenly. Nevertheless, we must carry on. You may not have him, but you've got Tarl, and you know he's no slouch. Oh, indeed I do. And for this blessing, we are grateful beyond measure. Right then, Sorbon, we must resume your training at once, ere we forget the lessons of your time as an auspice. Yes, yes, of course. Getting back to it? In that case, I should return to the mountain of paperwork in Kugane I've been doing my best to ignore. Oh, and Sorbon. I left the takoyaki with Kamai... Kamaitachi for safekeeping. You're not to get any until you've earned it. When next we call upon you, Tarl, I expect it will be to deal with one of my comrades. Shirk not your own training, for it will not be easy. Under these circumstances, I do not think I will have time to return to Tamamizu for even a short spell. If you would be so kind as to inform the Elder. Alright, we're heading back to Tamamizu. So that was a fair bit of fun. Now, where's Boonchin? There he is. A pleasure, Tal. Did you have the chance to visit with Sorobon? How fair is he with his training? Extraordinary. He has always been diligent and hardworking, but even so, to think he is blessed with such incredible potential. I cannot help but wonder who else among us might be possessed of similar abilities. Yet I understand his trepidation. With great power comes great responsibility, as is often said. Okay, Uncle Ben. We may need to keep a closer eye on him to ensure he does not succumb to fear and attempt to flee his training. Good to know. Well... With that, we have finally completed the Swallow's Compass and this entire storyline for the Four Lords. Who boy, we have got a lot to deal with within the next uh, few days, so it's going to be crunch time um, here at Cruise Next Purgatory. But to give you a heads up, we've got um, we've got Hildebrand to look forward to. We've got the new dungeon Heaven on the new Deep Dungeon Heaven on High. We've got the Great Hunt to look forward to, which is the, uh, which will be the collaboration event between Final Fantasy XIV and Monster Hunter World, and then we move on to bigger and better things. Um, but with that being said, that's it for this episode of Cruisenix Purgatory. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you all enjoyed the show. As always, thank you to Arya Stormborn, Alex Zwan, and CC Valentine for joining us. And again, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the show. As always, if you're watching this on Twitch or live at PlayStation and you like this show, click the follow button below and be sure to turn on notifications. If you're watching this on YouTube and you like this video, click the like button below and leave a comment. Subscribe to my channel by clicking here. Click here to watch more by me. Click here to watch the next episode. And click here to watch the previous one. Until next time, Cruzic X. Signing out!